Hello, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com, and I am here today with three Leica lenses. As you can see, they're sitting in the pouches. These are three 50 millimeter lenses, all from Leica, all made by Leica. And many people claim that they would give one of their arms just to have one of these lenses. So let's see what we have. First of all, as you can see in the corner, here's the Leica M Type 240. Um, and I have a couple of boxes here, a box here. So what lenses are these? Well, I'm gonna open them up from the lowest cost to the highest cost. And the first one we have, remember these are all 50 millimeter lenses. All of them are superb 50 millimeter lenses and all of them are also very insanely expensive. Um, and to some people who shoot Leica, they're well worth the cost. Many people keep these for years and years and they actually go up in value. For example, uh, I once bought this lens right here, the 50 Sumilux Aspherical. I paid $15.99 for it uh, many years ago. And last year they were selling for about 4,200 used. Um, try that with a Canon lens or a Nikon lens, it just doesn't happen. Not only do you lose money and value with other lenses, uh, you can't even have a chance of making up for inflation. With Leica lenses, if you hold on to these for a few years, you will not lose money when you sell them. And if you buy used, even better, because you can get some used deals. And right now, in 2013, this is uh, April, you can find some crazy deals on Leica lenses used because uh, the market's not as hot as it was about a year ago. Um, but I think it's gonna pick back up once this new M starts getting into more and more hands. Because lenses that worked so well on the M9, different lenses seem to work very well on the M. So we shall see. But here we go, the 51.4 Legendary Leica Glass has a fast aperture of f1.4. This one's in black, it also comes in silver, which is heavier. This one is just the right balance of weight, heft, build quality, and performance. As you can see, the slide out hood is here. You pull it out and you twist it and it locks into place. So that's a really cool feature. The 51.4 I've written much about on the site at stephaphoto.com and to many it's basically a legend. Uh, even at 1.4, which is a very fast aperture, you get a sharp rendering. By f2, it's as sharp as the old Summicron and uh, you just keep going from there. But this lens is kind of made to be shot at 1.4. Um, you can get razor sharp images at that and it also gives you a nice 3D pop, 3D depth and very pleasant bokeh or bokeh, however you want to say it. Um, so this lens used to be much cheaper. Uh, I remember at $22.99 new. Now it is at $39.95 new. Four grand for this 50 millimeter lens. And yes, this is the lowest cost of the three I'm going to be talking about. So if you want a legendary lens in the Leica, you, uh, Leica camp, you want a uh, fast aperture, great depth of field possibilities, this is your 50 right here, and you can probably find a deal on it if you buy it used. I think used, they're going for anywhere between 31 and 3400. So that is the Sumilux Aspherical. In case number two, we have the brand new Leica 50 millimeter Sumicron APO Aspherical. And this is one amazing lens. It keeps the same size as the old Summicron. Might be a little heavier, um, but this is Leica's most complex design to date. This is the hardest lens in the history of Leica for them to make from what I've heard. It's very challenging to make and therefore, and it's actually quite perfect in its uh, rendering. Your sharp corner to corner across the whole frame at f2 the out of focus qualities are buttery smooth and this is the only lens I've shot on the new M240 that gives you a medium format feel and look. Uh, of course all this comes at a cost, at a price. This lens is $7,195 and there's a waiting list of a few months just to get one because Leica uh, doesn't ship too many out. It's very hard for them to make this lens. It has a slide out hood, but this one you twist and it's there. To bring it back down, you twist it. Just like so, clockwise to open it, counterclockwise to close it. 
goes from f2 at f2. It's bitingly sharp. I've never seen a sharper lens even with this at f2. Uh, this is sharper at f2 than most lenses are at f8. So there you go. This is the 50 Summicron Spherical, the new version, and it's beautiful. Um, a few, not too many people have this right now, and this lens is not mine. The guys over at ishotit.com lent me their copy. They sent it all the way from Europe just so I can review it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So the third and final lens in the 50 millimeter focal range is the Leica Noctilux Aspherical 0.95 F95. Now this lens came out a while ago and ever since it's been an incredible seller for Leica. Usually when dealers get this guy in stock, it's usually gone within days. Um, I know Ken Hansen, he usually gets a few of them, quite a few of them, and he sells them rather quickly. And that's astounding considering everybody complains about the economy, but yet this lens sells for $11,000 and they sell every one they make. This thing is a beast. It's heavy. The construction on it is incredible. You have a slide out hood. This one's a little not as smooth because this is actually a brand new lens. So you have the slide out hood and of course your aperture even at f95 it's very sharp. By f14 it's just as sharp as the Summilux spherical and acts a lot like the Summilux spherical but with a little bit more of a creamy background than the out of focus rendering. So uh, at f95 you can shoot in the dark with this thing and that's what a lot of people use it for. Uh, incredible lens. A lot of shots on my site were taken with it. When I did the SEAL tour, I used this lens 80% of the time. It's really amazing. So, but $11,000, it should be amazing. So if you compare, if you team that up with the new M, which is $7,000, you're looking at $18,000 just for a camera. When you can get something like a Nikon D800 and, uh, well, they don't have a 50 that compares, but if you got a Zeiss 50, um, you'd have a nice setup. But again, the D800 is not a rangefinder. It's much bigger, much heavier, much bulkier, and usually it doesn't come with you when you go out. So if you shoot the M with something like one of these little lenses, it's very light, very capable. And at the same time, if you shoot this guy, you can take it out in the daytime with an ND filter, and you will get 100% unique results like nothing you've seen from any lens. There's no lens on the planet in 35 millimeter that renders like the Noctilux. And over the old F1 version, this is sharper, uh, better out of focus backgrounds. It's just a more um, technically perfect lens. This lens is also technically perfect, but it's not clinical like I once thought. It's very, very smooth, very medium format. And the color of these two lenses are very nice. These two use some kind of coatings that give you great color and contrast and when you go back to the Sumalux you do notice the color is not as wow or poppy uh, and the contrast is lower. So these are all great choices. It's amazing that I have all three right here on my table um, along with this camera right here. And one more thing to notice, the Noctilux and the Sumicron come in deluxe boxes and inside that you get a presentation case that's all lined with silky stuff. Very cool. They want you to feel like you uh, got your money's worth with the lens. So all three of these are lifetime like lenses and I just wanted to show you guys the differences in size, uh, the differences I can tell you about the differences in character. This is the own unique 3D Noctilux look. This is a medium format look and this is your classic uh, large aperture, shallow depth of field look. Everybody knows the look of the F Aspherical 50 Sumilux. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, that was just a quick look at the 350s. There's way more 50s out there than this. Leica makes more 50s. You got the classic Noctilux, the classic Sumicron. You have the pre-Aspherical Sumiluxes. You have the Elmars. So you have other lenses. And then you got Zeiss ZM, the planner, and the uh, Sonar. All, all good lenses in their own right. But uh, there you go, and I hope you enjoyed it. Always check back to stevehuffphoto.com each and every day for something new. And if you like this video, check out all the other videos on my channel, and be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.